Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have an overview for Discord with Chronic Corporate Infest. Now, um, before I start talking about the album, if you're bothered by like gore covers, you might want to leave now because you're going to be seeing the album cover for this whole video and it's disgusting. So, uh, yeah, leave now if that bothers you. But anyways, here's the album cover. So this is Discord from Mexico with Chronic Corporate Infest, their debut release from 1997. Now, I feel like this band is... I might get a lot of shit for saying this. I feel like Discord Mexico is a little bit, just a little bit overrated. And I have a bias for that because a lot of people compare these guys to Discord from California. And I think that's really stupid because they play two completely different, like, styles. And the one from California, Discord is fucking, they're like my favorite band. Or they aren't my fav my single favorite band, but they're like one of my favorite fucking brutal death metal bands. And a lot of people always like try to give this band praise by saying like, oh they're the real Discord better than the one from California which I don't understand again why they compare them because Discord from Mexico has a lot more of a, they're both brutal death metal but Discord from Mexico has a lot more of a grindcore like gore grind sort of thing going on whereas uh, you know Discord California has a lot more suffocation -y, more technical has more maze like song structures but this is my favorite release from Discord from Mexico and I'll talk about why but anyways, came out in 1997. This is a cassette reissue put out through Corpse Gristle. Uh, it doesn't really sound the best, honestly, but this is a very raw produced album, and I have a pretty good stereo, so it doesn't matter that much to me. Not a huge audiophile, personally, but I like this album cover a lot. Uh, I think their best cover is Forensic, but I like the music <clears throat> on this album more. Um, but this cover's still really nutty. I like how like his like his face is like peeled like over his eyes. It's, it's just so fucked up looking disgusting shit and it really fits the music I mean it sounds how it looks uh, I'm not gonna try to read the track listing there's some super long fucking words weird medical terminology I don't know if it'll focus but if you could see any of that you know what I mean <laughs> it's kind of hard to read um, I really like the, the the red like thing on the cake how it's red and I, the actual cassette looks really nice big logo uh, I really like their logo a lot. It's very gross looking. Uh, I like the Lada Dos and Lada Uno. I like the numbers on the sides. I think that they're Mexican band. Um, there's a band photo right here. Really cool. Uh, and then Corpse Crystal shit. Anyways, uh, production wise, this is the kind of album that I. I'm not huge on the production on this, but I understand why they went for this kind of sound. It's very raw, and that's not my gripe with it. It's mainly because it's very dry sounding production wise. The only thing I love about the production on this album is the drums. The drums are probably my favorite part of this whole album because they're just super punchy. Uh, they have a lot of thump to them. I don't know how to explain it. There's a lot of low end to the kicks. They're not triggered at all. And if they are, they just have a very organic sort of sound to them. But it just sounds like the drummer is just beating the shit out of his kid. I mean, especially during the blast beats, they just sound violent and beefy, which I love. Uh, but the guitar tone is a lot more old school sounding. It's not super scooped or chunky or juicy sounding. It's more dry, uh, which fits for this style, but it's not my favorite kind of guitar tone ever for brutal death metal, personally. Um, I don't know. If you really want to pay attention, or if you really want to get a lot of enjoyment out of a song, you have to really pay attention to it, because otherwise you might get bored. Uh, that's how I feel about it, at least, but maybe because of the production. Um, I don't know. Uh... Something about this album that I really dislike is that the samples, I feel, overpower the songs for some parts. There's some songs that are just kind of forgettable towards like the second half of the album. And I feel like this, the first half is a lot stronger, but I just don't like the way... Like, the samples are sick on the first half of the album, they're perfect, but I feel like on the second half, they kind of... Some of them overstay their welcome a little bit. And it's like, I just want to hear the song, and then the actual song comes, and it's very through one year out the other. But on the first half of the album, uh, I think the songs really shine, and the samples are super fucked up on the first half. I mean, they are in the second half, but I enjoy them more on the first half. It's like, they're there with more purpose on the first half of the album. They create a very dreamlike sort of feel to this, which I enjoy a lot. Um, this album is just, it feels scary and violent, which I love. It's just very fucked up sounding and gory sounding. The vocals sound really spazzy and like they're very low in the mix but they have this like insect like of like this insect like sound to them that I can't really explain but they're very vomitous but they're like kind of quiet and it creates a subtle sort of nasty sound which I really like 
and I think overall it's a very solid album but it's kind of a once in a while listen for me I'm not really sure why uh, I think it might be because the production is a little more dull uh, not my favorite album ever but this is definitely my favorite release from Discord Mexico um, I like Forensic a lot as well but this one's definitely their best in my opinion I know a lot of people will prefer that album uh, I'll, I'll review that one next and you'll hear my thoughts on that album but Overall, I think it's a really strong album. I would say it's a probably like an 8.5. I feel like the second half is a little more forgettable, like I said. But the first half, there's some excellent song structures, especially the first song. Just the pacing from riff to riff, there's just so many memorable, like, grooves. They're not, like, slammy, like, catchy grooves, but, like, uh, just, like, the rhythms are kind of memorable. There's some really cool riffs. And one of the things I like about this album is it's, it's raw and noisy, but you can make out most of the riffs. Which I feel like they kind of lacked on on the album after this, Forensic. On here you can make out pretty much all the riffs, despite the raw production. Which is something that I enjoy a lot, because with a lot of noisy shit, <clears throat> the songs can be a little bit more forgettable, despite it being a very fun thing to listen to, because of how crazy it is. But on here, it both has, you know, crazy raw production and super noisy, overly aggressive songs. But you could actually make out the riffs. It still sounds cohesive, which I enjoy a lot. It doesn't sound like just a whole lot of nothing. And uh, I can't think of much else to say. I think, I, like I said, I'll give this an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, it's an excellent release, but they're not my favorite band in the world. Um, I prefer Discord California, but I think there's no point in really comparing them because they're so different. Um, but yeah, if you want some really scary, just super violent, snuffy, disgusting death metal, then listen to this album for sure. Um, once in a while kind of listen for me. And I, I enjoy, like, gore grindy kind of stuff once in a while, like Last Days of Humanity and these guys. These guys are more brutal death metal, but they have some traces of grindcore and a lot of the riffs that are a little more on the simple, kind of punky side. Uh, regurgitate, stuff like that. <clears throat> I all enjoy, but it's kind of a once in a while sort of thing for me, because it's, it's more of a gimmicky kind of sound, I feel. Um, but it's still great nonetheless. It's just not my favorite thing in the world, like I said. But, uh, when it comes to that style, this is definitely one of my favorite albums. So yeah, Discord Mexico with Chronic Corporate Infest. 8.5, like I said a million times already. Good album. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I know a lot of people might disagree with a few things I said, because I know a lot of people really, really like Discord from Mexico. And I, I do enjoy them, but they're just not my favorite <clears throat> for whatever reason. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.